Archaeology has helped to give us a deep understanding of our ancient past. Through the process of excavation, archaeologists are able to piece together the fragmented parts of our history. However, sometimes, a site is discovered that's so irregular and mysterious that it begins to rewrite everything we thought we knew about humanity's history. This is the story of Gobekli Tepe. Gobekli Tepe is an ancient temple complex and, so far, the oldest ever discovered. Researchers have dated the construction of the site to approximately 10,000 BC. It comprises various ceremonial structures made up of enormous T-shaped pillars that stand up to 6 meters high. The various pillars are decorated with beautiful depictions of snakes, foxes, lions, bulls, and geometric symbols. While we're beginning to understand the site, various mysteries still surround Gobekli Tepe. Why did Neolithic communities build such an elaborate temple structure at a time when large portions of the world were under enormous ice glaciers? How could they move? The colossal stones considering some weighed over 60 tonnies? Was the site intentionally buried? And most importantly, was this temple built specifically to warn humanity of a cataclysmic event that was due to occur in the future? Let's find out together. The Origins of Modern Civilization the archaeological site of Gobekli Tepe is located in Upper Mesopotamia, a region that saw the emergence of the most sophisticated farming societies in the ancient world. It lies around six miles from Urfa, an ancient city in southeastern Turkey. According to mainstream academics, the people that lived during the construction of Gobekli Tepe should have been unsophisticated hunters living at the end of the last major ice age. Yet, the site proves beyond a doubt that these people were far more civilized than we could have imagined. From initial excavations, archaeologists were able to conclude that planning and a high level of architecture were significant components in constructing this unique site. For some time, it was thought that humans lived in and around the central part of the site. However, there is no credible evidence to suggest that Gobekli Tepe ever served as a settlement. This led researchers to conclude that it served as some kind of religious site, and the oldest of its kind in history. Possible that groups traveled from as far away as Africa and the Levant to visit this site, and partake in ceremonies put on by ancient shamans. Researchers have even suggested it was some kind of school that taught cultures the principles of living an agrarian lifestyle. They would have been instructed to use the stars for guidance and to mark agricultural seasons. But it went beyond the physical aspects of learning, it's thought Gobekli Tepe was also an initiation center for pupil shamans. They would come here to receive teachings that were centered on cosmology and astronomy. This theory was put forth by the researcher Andrew Collins. The evidence supplied by Collins to back up this claim relates back to an ancient belief in a pole star. This is still prevalent among the shams today in Asia. The Mongolian, Turkish, and Tungus shamans still believe that the sky god Tengri Olgan ascends to the throne on the pole star Polaris. However, at some point in 8000 BC, the ancient builders of this temple decided to bury it under tons of rubble. This is one of the many great mysteries surrounding this site that has continued to spark debate in the archaeological world. It's thought that for whatever reason, the ancient builders wanted to preserve what they had built, and so it was intentionally buried. Gobekli Tepe also appears to be the place from which farming began to spread out around the fertile crescent of the Mesopotamia valleys. Again, no mainstream archaeologist can confidently answer why, all of a sudden, hunter-gatherers began to settle down and live an agrarian lifestyle. Nor why, out of nowhere, a group of hunter-gatherers coming out of an ice age would decide to build one of the most elaborate temples in history. A Passing of the Torch Since the discovery of Gobekli Tepe back in 60s, various archaeological excavations have been carried out. We begin to understand the site a little better with each new discovery. The best theory on the practical use of the site outside of its ceremonial aspects is that it served as an astronomical observatory. One theory suggests the site was aligned with the Sirius, a star that would be later worshipped by various cultures, including the dynastic Egyptians. Evidence also supports the idea that portions of the site may be aligned to various constellations and celestial bodies further deepening the mysteries of the site even further. 
This has led many scholars to suggest that Gobelki Tipe wasn't the first place of its kind. Instead, it was the rekindling of an ancient civilization that thrived before and during the last Great Ice Age. A popular theory put forth by many researchers is that following the cataclysmic events of the Younger Dryas period, otherwise known as the Great Flood, an ancient civilization settled in the area. The Younger Dryas was a period of unusual glacial activity around 11,600 years ago. For thousands of years, the Earth had been slowly coming out of the last major ice age, when all of a sudden it immediately went back into one of the coldest periods of the last 100,000 years. It's now thought that during the Younger Dryas, large fragments of a comet struck North America with such ferocity that it brought on a 1,000-year ice age. The impact of the comet would have caused flooding on a scale we, as modern humans, couldn't even fathom, bringing about a collapse in civilizations all around the world. According to the prominent researcher Graham Hancock, what we observe at Gobekli Tepe is a transfer of technology between an advanced culture and hunter-gatherers. Graham claims that there's just no way a hunter-gathering population one day decided to build such as elaborate structure. Instead, he claims that following a great cataclysm, an ancient pre-Diluvian society found the fertile plains around Gobekli Tepe and decided to rebuild civilization there. They brought with them the knowledge of agriculture, astronomy, mathematics, and stone architecture. They shared this knowledge with the various hunter-gather communities, and this was the beginning of the new world as we know it. A warning for future generations. In recent years, some researchers have begun to put forth a rather compelling theory, that many of the tea pillars at Gobelki Tepe contain astrological warnings. These researchers believe that Gobelki Tepe itself was partially built to warn future generations about the devastating cataclysms that come from the sky. One specific pillar is thought to represent a comet impact, which is generally the reasoning behind the catastrophic events that occurred at the tail end of the last ice age. Various researchers have suggested that one of the T-shaped pillars actually served as a memorial for the events that transpired during the centuries following the impact of the comet. What do you think? Could an ancient society have really built Gobekli Tepe to warn about the possibility of another comet impact as their ancestors had experienced? And is this why Gobekli Tepe was buried, knowing that one day it would be discovered by modern humans? This idea has a surprising link to one of the most famous stories of an ancient civilization that was supposedly wiped out by a great flood. One aspect of this great ancient temple complex that's generally ignored by mainstream academics is that it coincides perfectly with Plato's story of Atlantis. We've spoken at great length about the story of Atlantis in a previous video, so we won't dive into it too much here. The story of Atlantis was passed down to the Greek philosopher Plato. He was told by Solon that, according to Egyptian priests, the great city of Atlantis sunk to the bottom of the ocean approximately 9,600 years ago. This means that with the 2,000 years that have passed since Plato's death, it would equate to around 11,600 years. This is exactly the time when Gobekli Tepe was founded. Could this be compelling evidence that the ancient civilization of Atlantis, a worldwide culture, was sunk during this great cataclysm recorded at Gobekli Tepe? And could it point towards the idea that the Atlanteans were the advanced culture that brought the arts of civilization to the hunter-gatherers in and around the region of Turkey? Conclusion There is still a lot to learn about this ancient site in Turkey. With each passing year, we are slowly unraveling the mysteries of the world's most ancient religious site. Considering only around 5% of the entire site has been excavated, it could take a few more decades until we get to the bottom of the mystery. What do you think? Was Gebelki Tepe just a religious site built by Neolithic hunters? Or could it have been built by an advanced pre-Diluvian culture that came to teach humanity the arts of civilization following a dramatic cataclysm?